What's up, Cash Girls fam? It's your girl, Cash Girls, in the Cash Girls Corner, and I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be taking my hair from brown, dark brown, to blonde. I have been wanting to dye my hair since high school, um, but I was always afraid and hesitant because of the damage that color could cause, and also I love my natural hair color, and I was afraid that if I dyed it, I would never be able to see my natural hair color again recently i've gotten the itch again to dye my hair blonde and then i remembered that curl smith has the hair makeup line which are different colors that you can temporarily dye your hair using the curl smith product so as you guys may be familiar with i did one time post a rose gold one and i'll tag that video up there for you but this time i decided to try the blonde so yeah guys let's get into the video i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i got my hair to look like this from this to this okay guys so i hopped in the shower and gave my hair a quick wash to begin so my hair is nice and clean it's also getting pretty long guys i am then gonna take the curl smith in the shade gold hair makeup that i discussed to get the blonde effect and some leave-in conditioner to style my hair for today by the way the hair makeup is like a gel styler so we won't need a gel to go over our hair just simply the product and your favorite leave-in conditioner Okay, you'll want to start by moisturizing your hair with your leave-in conditioner. Mine was at the very last bit, so as you can see, I am struggling to shake out any product. Luckily, I had a new bottle over onto the side, so I was able to eventually grab that. Um, but I just took my leave-in conditioner, and you're going to want to apply it how you normally would. For me, most of the time, this looks like massaging it through my hair as I flip my hair from side to side to get some extra added volume. And it's just that easy, guys. As you can see, I'm repeating the same exact steps onto this side of my hair. I like flipping my hair over because for me, that makes sure that I get the backs, the ends, and I don't have to worry about dividing my hair up. It is a little bit faster of a process while still making sure each strand is coated. And now for the fun part, we're going to use a Curl Smith Gold Hair Makeup. I first sniffed it. I don't know why. I was just curious to see if it had a scent, but it actually really didn't. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and apply it, guys. And something I learned when I used the Rose Gold formula was that it worked best when I rubbed it into my fingertips before applying it into my hair. So I did the same exact thing with the gold here. And as you can see, I then distributed it into my hair, starting at the fronts, just massaging it in similarly to how I did with my moisturizer. Now this is a buildable product, so if you would like there to be more pigment when your hair is dry, you can go add more product, but I'd like to kind of avoid that, and for time's sake, I just began to stretch my hair out to make sure that the backs and the under layers were getting just as much product as the front and tops of my hair, and as you can see, I even got up just to make sure I was raking the product through my hair using the prayer method, which I found smoothed the hair out quite nicely when applying. I again flip my hair over to continue to get additional volume. I did want to mention to you guys something that you'll see here on the screen is that when you are applying the product, although it is buildable, you do want to avoid clumping too much product on at once because it will get yellow as you can see in that one area. And what I did was I just worked my fingers through it and did some extra massaging to kind of help that out. And in the end, when it dried, it looked perfectly fine, but I did just want to give you guys that tip as you can see. I don't always do this, but I've seen people add clips in lately for extra volume in the front, so I give it a try. I'm obsessed with it. It's made me want to dye my hair blonde for real in real life. Like, I'm itching to dye it now. I love the way this came out. I think it looks actually pretty natural for, like, a temporary dye so you just kind of smooth into your hair. Um, and I did take some, like, fun pictures, and I think it would just be fun to have for the week. And then I'll wash it out. One, it doesn't cause any damage because it is just a gel with color in it. And two, once you wash your hair, the color completely washes out. So you can swap out the colors as much as you would like. I think it's going to be super fun for the summer to play with a bunch of different colors. I do want to also try red in my hair and a few other ones. But yeah, guys, I think it came out really good. It looks pretty realistic. And it's not getting all over my hands as much as it did the first time I used it. So I think if you wait for it to fully dry, um, you'll get less of the color like fallout so yeah guys